we're back with J.D. Vance. He's the author of the excellent book, Hillbilly Elegy. It's a memoir about his life growing up in poverty in Middletown, Ohio. You know, when I read this book, which I read over my husband's shoulder as an e-book on a plane, <laughs> I remember reading this book and thinking, you know, Donald Trump's going to get elected. Because you were describing something that I think is missed by a lot of journalists and missed kind of in the common American narrative, frankly. Is that how you saw when you were writing this book? What was framing your your idea behind it? Well, I didn't expect it to be so politically relevant and timely in that way, but I definitely knew that there were very significant problems that would express themselves in our politics eventually. I just didn't realize that they would express themselves so quickly and in the form of Donald Trump. I mean, what I'm writing about really is fundamentally a breakdown of so much of society when a lot of these jobs, a lot of these good paying wages effectively disappear, right? So the opioid crisis, the family breakdown, the chaos, the rise in incarceration rates, we shouldn't be that surprised that when things aren't going especially well in these communities, they turn to very radical political alternatives. You have said in subsequent interviews that ultimately these things will be solved by, by big policy plans and not a four-year presidential cycle or even an eight-year presidential cycle, sure. but 20, 30, 40-year long strategies to elevating not just the inner cities, but also the rural areas that are, are both often forgotten. Right. The fundamental issue with American jobs and manufacturing right now is not that all of our jobs have gone to Mexico and China. It's that they've been autom automated. It's that mechanization has sort of reduced the manufacturing work base. There is a solution to that problem. It's to train people for the next level of jobs, to train people for the 21st century workforce. And that's unfortunately not an easy solution, but I think it's the only solution that's going to work in the long term. Why do you think you were successful? You went off to the military in an Ivy League school and then literally out of Middletown and off to a, a VC job. Well, it's a lot of the things, frankly, that were in Middletown there supporting me. I write about in the book, I had a lot of good teachers who made sure that I had access to opportunities. But most importantly, I had my grandparents. I had my mama and papa, as I call them in the book. They gave me that stable home, that encouragement that ensured that I had access to opportunities later on the line. And I think that leaves an important lesson for policy for us as we think about how to elevate lower and working class Americans. And we ought to think really hard about how we can actually change that calculus for a lot of kids who grew up like I did, but maybe don't have a mamma and papa like I did. J.D. Vance, terrific book. Thank you for joining us. What a pleasure. Thank you for having me. You nice bet. talking to you. Likewise.